welcome to another episode of Borders Kid 3 and let us just continue. We're still on our way to kill the mortal guy who is no longer a mortal because of reasons. And we're currently in the deeps. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Better not be cursed. No longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. The Absolute is behind this door. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker! Gortash! Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You have built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time. And you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. He must lead the murder march to Border's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Ball! of Merkel! An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The Absolute. Whom preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. 
You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. Predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Finer champions than you have tried and failed. But perhaps they lacked the fear that drives you. Your freedom hanging in the balance. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned, her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. With pleasure. Fuck! Thor can't die while Night Song's still caged! Let my nation know. Let's go. Knees high. choice but to keep going.
ready for this. Kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours.
this is worth the cost. Death won't take us yet. fealty. Do what you must, and we fly this foul place. The Chosen of Merc. In death, the body is cooling. Energy radiates from the stone. Remarkable. Truly. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it. And these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. I believe you fought and defeated an avatar of Merkel, the god of necromancy. A remarkable feat. Ketherick was Merkel's chosen. I know Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver. He is a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Which means the absolute is a front for the gods of death. And our enemies are chosen of the dead three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The tyrant, the assassin, and the necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and with those stones and that crown, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. Perhaps not a cure, but you found the source of your infection and the reason for its abnormality. The crown atop the Elder Brain, its markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. The Crown's Netherese magic must be the true source of the Parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the Crown can do this to the Parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. We prepare for the fight of our lives. 
and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death Gods Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I was his bodyguard. I looked after him with my life. I trusted him more than anything. He gave me a way to Zariel just for kicks. He ruined my life just when it was starting. And now he'll use up the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him! He can't get away with what he's done. To me. To us. He won't get away with it. my weary head. Anything of use? Aelin! Isabel! My love! You were dead! I saw your body! I'm here, and, and so are you, and my father, he, he can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me, that somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all, nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? 
We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. Seems simple enough. Private word would be nice. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the Gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Orin. I'd never heard tell of, but Gortash I know, or know of more precisely, a self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers, a bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that, but where these chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Then you know loyalty, and you know what I did had to be done. I was 17. Father, older Ravenguard, had just been named a Grand Duke, and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat, and intend to summon her to Faerun. A ten day after Father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. She 
she didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. Hey, you. I made it. Easy peasy. You find Mum and Pops? Well, hurry. They've got to be somewhere. And I don't want them worrying. Then I'll teach you to conjure those vines. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past. Being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. that it is a common right among Saluna's followers to send their children off into the woods to find their way home. Perhaps this time it had gone awry. It seems that one child never came back. She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My... Parents, I need to save them. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. 
You have been forewarned for what is to come, but not yet forearmed. The spear. How do you have it? I threw it into the Shadowfell. Shar is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough, but I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <laughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. been lied to my whole life and I was gullible enough to just believe it my parents are alive and I have to save them I think a part of me always knew that a part that Shah denied to me thank you but I want you to refrain from foolish heroics when the time comes, we'll be entering a nest of vipers. I couldn't bear to lose you. Not after everything. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. We aren't dear friends now, if that's what you're asking. But I trust we can all sleep a little more soundly in camp now. You have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you, you did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. And if they died, would their deaths not count? But they need not die, for they would have you. You have the makings of a leader. 
Your actions have already inspired those around you. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. Leave them be. Fair enough. No more. But the shadow curse still remains. I need to be careful. That sign above. This must be a brewery or distillery. A cursed distillery, no less. I suspect it holds more than just liquor. Smells worse. Did the curse do this? Leaning in, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. Oh, gods. I did not want whatever's inside that guy all over me. Go on, train. Drink! 
Then you amaze and fuse a stone me again. as the vile brew fills it, yet your mind remains miraculously steady.
to focus. Can't give up. Not now. Moving. Research notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distiller Thizzable Thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Thizzable devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients, without success. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thizzabald required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thizzabald enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Your mind separates the black from the blue, revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Thizzabald's purple worm poison.
Why, hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? to Boulder's gate is up ahead. No telling. I bet that'll fit in my pack. Infernal metal. That's what my engine's made of. Hang on to that. Very well. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, switches. I know I can do this. Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. You recognize the corpse being tended. The girl Arabella's father. Not dead. Merely medicated to ease the pain. The patient is asleep. The sedative is quite strong, you see. Hello? Can you hear me? 
Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to tend to my patient. Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Be patient, be well. Well enough to wait. Join the line. Yes, yes, but all must wait. The doctor's hands are full. Join the line. You will be seen. Oh, an answer to our prayers. Down to the theater. Be swift. Be saved. And with this, I am ending this episode, and I wish you all a good day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.